I was determined that this was going to be a good video. No doubt in my mind. But then I've recorded it twice. And there's still no audio. So I'm going to do it while we record again. And I need help. <laughs> I've just about turned it in. But I'm not going to do that because I enjoy this. So, we're trying it one more time. And if by chance it works out, I'm glad you stuck it out with me. I've got birds on the outside singing. I've got a puppy dog that wants something. But she's 16 years old and she can't hear what I'm saying. So she doesn't answer me and she just sits and whines. Uh, another reason why I haven't done a lot of videos. She got over surgery recently and anyway, I'm not going to make those excuses right now. Because I'm going to sh show y'all this chalk couture. And I thought about speeding the video up and then putting the audio in. But you really need to see how quick you can do this. You could make 10 gifts in one evening. And I'd put a time limit on it, but I'm a little slower than most. Y'all know that. Okay, so let's get started right after this. Okay, right after this. <laughs> Okay, here's our video and all of a sudden I start hearing music coming from somewhere I don't know if I'm getting a phone call from somewhere and it's got the tune playing but that's okay here we go we're using the 18 inch round disc that I've had for a while along with the transfer that I've had for a while don't know if these are still in the catalog but if y'all like them, they bring things back now. So let them know that that's something that's no longer in there, but you like it. You like the design and want to use it. Okay, it's got a slot at the top where we can put that burlap bow that comes with it. It's metal. It's magnetic. Uh, it's thick enough. It's not going to bend like some of these flimsy ones that you buy at other stores. You can use both sides, so you could put, we're doing Halloween today, I could put Christmas on the background. Now, right here, I'm looking for the center. I kind of already uh, eyeballed the center on my transfer. These transfers are special material that is adhesive on the back, and it is embedded with an actual silk screen material. So you're working in a professional style doing this. But if you've not watched Chalk Couture before, you can really see how quick and easy this is. And I'm so glad that I didn't put my little picture in the corner up there while I'm talking because I'm using my hands galore right now since they're not working on a project. This was filmed two days ago along with audio. But I found my problem, so I think we're good now. Now, every child couture transfer that you get has the instructions on the back. So you've got step-by-step -step instructions. And the one first thing you need to remember to do when you open up the package and you take your transfer off of the backing, 
is that you always put the transfer back on the shiny side, <coughs> excuse me, between the birds and the dog. Now I'm coughing. Okay, shiny side is, is the side where the sticky goes back onto. You can use these transfers over and over and over and over again. So you want to take good care of them. Just makes sense. Especially if you're going to be using them several times. And like I said, first thing you want to do after you take it off of that backing is stick it to a towel, a t-shirt, a cloth. We even have a specialty cloth for that, but I didn't have mine handy. So I am just going to stick it to my shirt and that's what I'm doing right now. By the way, I'm using that tape as my center point. So all I have to do is remove that little point, that little piece of tape. And notice there is a distressed look on this design. There's places in the lettering and on the pumpkins that no paste is going to get to that surface because of the spots that they put in the lettering and on the pumpkins. So when you pull it off and you don't see a solid H or a solid W or the pumpkin being solid, you'll know that. And that adds more dimension to your design. You want to always make sure that you've got it stuck down very good. You don't want any bubbles. No bubbles. Remember, pull your tape off or no paste would have gotten to your surface just then. And I always keep a little pointed Q-tip that you can find out in any cosmetic area and a, a wet one or a, oh you know the diaper uh, wipes I just keep those handy so that when I do re take that transfer off and reveal if there's some place that that smear maybe because I touch it or for whatever reason those two products usually can clean it up with no problem this is our chocology, chocology paste that I'm using. It's a three ounce jar. This particular one is the copper, metallic copper. I'm into metallics. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm using all one color. I'm making sure with our stir stick that uh, it's the right consistency. About like cake batter or a thinner yogurt or maybe icing. It really reminds me of icing looking at it right now. And I'm going to just start smearing it on there. Now I started getting a little fussy and I started pushing it down in there. And I do that for about a third of it. And then I thought, what am I doing now? I really know it's been a while since I've done this. This is silk screen. You don't have to do that. As long as you put enough paste on there, when you go and use your squeegee, it's going to spread it down into that mesh, that silk screen, and transfer it to the surface. And if you work too slow, and I'm working slower than most, then uh, it could dry inside the silk screen holes. And if that happens, which I know this copper is not going to do it because it's a really good consistency. Now see, now I'm just spreading it on. I don't care how much I'm putting on there because I know it's all going to spread out. And what I, I'm not worried about is that all the waste is going to go back into the jar to be used again on another project. I got a little picky there with the pumpkins. And then I think I probably said in the original one that didn't record the audio, Lord, I need a new mic or a new computer, one or the other. Anyway, uh, Let's see, where was my train of thought? Tell me, please. Okay, think, 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 think. Oh, 
I probably said in the original video right there is that what am I doing? I don't need to be doing all this. But you know what? I've spent maybe three minutes doing it. So then it dawns on me. Okay, Tricia, put this down. Get your big squeegee. And it has a handle. And you can actually take it out of the handle. Get everything out of your way. And you're just going to pull it across that paste. Doesn't that look awesome? No problems. See where the waste went? Right back into the jar. Now I missed a few holes there, but I still had stuff on my squeegee. So all I had to do was wipe it over it again. There we go. Now when you go to clean this, we have a special tool. Nope, oh, got to get it all back in that jar. That's a real flexitive squeegee. It's firm enough to do just what it's supposed to do. But yet, if you were to drop it or something, it's not so firm that it's going to break it or something. It's a rubbery texture. Okay, that's our cleaning tool. Very similar to the material that's used in... Uh, oh, I forgot the name of it now. Mr. Clean makes them. But it doesn't have the chemicals. It's just the cleaning material. It will not hurt your surface. It will not hurt your transfer. Now you're not going to go and rub a hole in it. But it's going to take all of the paste out of the little holes. And unless you're using a red or a maroon or a deep dark, dark, dark purple. Something even a black maybe. Uh, it's going to clean it like it was brand new. When I pull mine off, I usually immediately take them over to the sink and just start washing them. If the sides stick together, if I, you know, accidentally uh, don't lay it out flat, all I've got to do is run it under water. It's going to come out just fine. I lay it on a towel, I pat it dry, and then I put that backing with the shiny side against the adhesive. And, and usually I put the adhesive up and then just lay the backing down on top of it. Oh, here's the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Doesn't that look great? I am so pleased with this. And see the distressed look that I was talking about? I just have two hands. See, I need three or four. Don't we all? But if you look at the top of that W, you're going to see the spot that is intentionally distressed. And see how I just folded it over? I'm not worried about that because when I take it to that sink, the water is going to take care of it. And it's going to stay sticky as long as everything's done correctly and you properly take care of it. And this will be dry in five minutes. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the bow in. I'm very careful not to touch the design because I'm going to go hang it up. And I'm not the best at tying bows, but it's not that bad either. Let's see what it looks like. And there we are, hanging on the door. So I hope y'all enjoyed today, and I hope you think about uh, shopping for Christmas with Chalk Couture. You'll find a link below. And I want to also thank all my Patreon members uh, that have stuck with me through this all. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all just don't know. Until the next video, and I think it may be Halloween cards or Thanksgiving cards or something like that. But I've got a whole uh, set of Chalk Couture videos along with some 
others out there that you probably haven't seen. And I hope the quality improves. So look at the date as you watch them. Uh, and be sure and let others know that I'm out here. And if they need some help with any kind of designing, I'd be glad to help them. See you in the next video. And until then, don't forget, teachers still lead to your destiny.